Okay, welcome to day four of the computer building extravaganza. As you can see, uh, today is going to be all about graphics. These are four of the more common graphics cards that were available out uh, during the early to mid 90s. This is an S3 Trio 64, an S3 Verge GX Nitro, a Matrox Mystique, and a Trident 9680. All four of these cards were very popular during the time, uh, especially the S3s and the Matrox card. Uh, but each one of them uh, come in either one, two, or four meg configurations. The nice thing about them is that they were all PCI. We hadn't released AGP yet. Uh, the most high-end games probably would require about 640 by 480 on the, at the very top end until Quake came along in about mid-1996 where it went all the way up to 1600 by 1200 but most people's graphics cards could not display that high resolution. If you had a card that could do that you were either running a Verge or something else that had uh, that had, they, they had some really nice options but for the most part most of us were stuck with maybe 640 by 480 um, and if we had, if we managed to pull 20-25 frames per second, we were happy. But like I said, the nice thing is they were all PCI. They hadn't uh, released AGP yet. Um, they all pretty much ran the same. I set up a test bench that we can go ahead and take a look at some of the some benchmarks on them, as well as some gameplay uh, from some more popular games that were that were released during that period, and we'll see how they perform and how they do. So let's get to it. So here we have the four cards plus one. I added the S3 Verge DX4 Meg as I wasn't getting the performance I expected from the GX Nitro, probably because it was the only a two meg card. So this graph is a nice combination of four to five actual benchmarks running at either 320 by 200 or 640 by 480, and then some game demos. Doom only runs at 320 by 200, so I ran it at full screen to put some demand in the GPUs. And then with Quake, I tested them each at three different resolutions, 320 by 200, 360 by 480 and 640 by 480. As you can see, most of the cards did equally well with the Trident 9680 continually lagging behind the others, most likely because of it only having one meg of memory, whereas all the others had two meg and the Verge DX had four meg. Interestingly though, the Matrox Mystique was the only card to only have two meg and keep up with the DX and even beat it in a few of the tests. The Mystique and the DX were the only two cards I could get Quake to run at 640 by 480, and they were neck and neck at 12.3 frames per second. All things considered, I would look for one of these two cards when you go to build your system. I used the Mystique from about mid-96 or mid-98, and with Windows 95 paired with a Matrox M3D, it was a really nice combination for early DirectX and PowerVR accelerated games. Now, let's take a look at some gameplay from a few different first-person shooters at the time, so you can get an idea as to what you can expect them to look like. I used the S3 Verge GX2 Meg for all the demos. <laughs>
that about wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay selection I chose. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe and give it a like. Our next video will be all about sound and sound cards. Have a good one, and we'll see you in a week.